Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you considering buying a product that records full high definition or replacing cable television with an HD antenna? In this video, I'll share what is high definition, interlaced versus progressive, digital television stations SD signals, HD resolution, SD quality, and 4K television antenna myth. 1998 marked the first U.S. broadcast of a high-definition television signal. Before 1998, antenna television signals were standard definition, or SD. Standard definition has 640 horizontal lines and 480 vertical lines and an aspect ratio of 4 to 3. The first high-definition signals had 1,080 vertical lines and 720 horizontal lines, and an aspect ratio of 16.9. A few years later, consumers could buy full HD TVs with 1,920 vertical lines and 1,080 horizontal lines. Going from standard definition to high definition tripled the number of pixels. Full HD more than doubled the number of pixels of high definition. 4K quadruples the number of pixels of full HD. While more pixels provides higher resolution and more detail, especially on large TV screens, higher resolutions require more bandwidth and broadcasting higher bandwidths increases operating costs. For that reason, digital antenna TV signals are 480, 720, and 1080i. I means interlaced, and P means progressive. Interlaced and progressive refers to how the even and odd-numbered lines are displayed. Progressive displays all lines simultaneously for each frame. Interlaced displays the even lines first and then the odd lines. Broadcast TV uses interlaced signals to reduce bandwidth. Interlaced signals transmit half the number of pixels compared to a progressive signal. While all broadcast television stations transmit digital signals, not all stations are high definition. High definition antenna ads promise cable quality HD without the monthly cable bill. There's a reason cable TV and streaming services offer full HD and 4K programming. Bandwidth. While a HD antenna may pick up over 100 digital channels, not all channels are high definition. Federal Communication Commission rules requires broadcasting the station's main channel in HD. The main channel has a 1 following the channel number, for example, 8.1. Subchannels can be HD or standard definition. Even though full HD has been around for years, the main channel can be HD. Every station has finite bandwidth. Bandwidth is the amount of data transmitted for the TV station signal. Bandwidth, also known as bitrate, is measured in bits per second. U.S. HD antenna TV is about 20 megabits per second. 4K TV requires between 35 to 45 megabits per second. Broadcasting subchannels in standard definition reduces operating expenses. By reducing operating expenses, advertisers can buy more airtime for fewer dollars. As I've shared, the difference between SD, HD, and Full HD are the number of lines and pixels. File sizes are reduced by reducing the amount of data per pixel. Products like video doorbells and dash cams emphasize resolution like Full HD, not bit rate or bits per pixel. 
Some low-cost dash cams claim to record up to 24 hours on a single memory card. The maker of one Full HD dash cam recommends using a memory card with at least a 20 megabit per second write speed. Recording 24 or more hours of Full HD on a 32 or 64 gigabyte memory card means a lower bit rate and image quality. The image may be acceptable on a 3 or 4 inch screen, but degrades on larger screens. The same is true with video doorbells, drones, and other video recording devices. When it comes to image quality, a high bitrate HD image will provide more detail than a low bitrate full HD image. Television antenna makers are advertising 4K antennas. As I've shared, most broadcast television programs are 1080, 720, and 480i. At this time, there are very few stations broadcasting 4K programming. The difference in image quality between Full HD and 4K is small at normal viewing distances. Investing in a HD TV antenna will save you money compared to cable and streaming services. Any digital TV antenna should be compatible with 4K signals. While your current antenna may be compatible, you'll need a 4K TV to watch 4K programming. Since most subchannels are standard definition, a 4K digital antenna will not access dozens of 4K programs. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.